Ahoy mateys and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Sega Model 3 aka Super Model 3 with LaunchBox. Also going to show you how to set up two light guns with games like Lost World. Let's get started with downloading Sega Model 3 emulator. Link provided below. Now we can download Sega Model 3 UI, link provided below. Create a folder and extract the Sega Model 3 emulator to this location. Now you can extract the Sega Model 3 UI to the same location. If prompted to replace the files in this destination, select Replace. Create a folder called ROMs and extract or copy all your Sega Model 3 ROMs into this location. We need to download a program called Arcade Guns Pro Utility. And install it to your computer. Link provided below. Close out of the program and open Sega Model 3 UI.execute. Select folder button and navigate to your ROMs folder and click OK. Under the View tab, you can change settings like full screen and resolution. For light gun games, we will need to change the input system to raw input. For other games like racing and fighting games, you can copy your Sega Model 3 folder and set the input system to D input. We'll show you how to set up both in LaunchBox. Before we get started setting up the controls, we need to back up our INI file. Create a folder and copy the INI file to this location. This file can be corrupted, so it's best to keep a copy of this file. We can set our controls in two locations. First option is to open the Sega Model 3 UI and click the Control tab. Select the config button and follow the prompts to navigate through setting up the controls. Second option for setting up controls is to navigate to your Supermodel INI file and manually input your controls. We will need to manually set our controls for two light guns in this location. Open your Supermodel INI file in the Arcade Guns Pro Utility Program. Navigate to the Light Guns Lost World section of the Supermodel INI file. To locate correct information for each gun, you will need to click on the Utilities tab and look at the mice information. My light guns show a second mouse, so in the INI file I set the mouse for my first gun to mouse 2. For this tutorial, my second gun will be my mouse. Since this shows as mouse 1 in the utility, I will set my second gun to mouse 1. For locating the Joy number, select the Joystick tab inside the Arcade Guns Pro Utility. For my light gun, this is set to Joystick 1. When you have multiple light guns, you will see more options in this location. Make sure to set your input trigger to 1 for each gun. If you don't, you will not be able to reload your gun. The Arcade Guns Pro Utility can also be used to set controls for each light gun, like right click and left click. Save and close out of your INI file. This web page gives more insight on what I described above. Link provided below. I will provide my Supermodel INI file from my arcade below. It will contain more information on the second light gun. I'm going to show you how to set up LaunchBox in two different ways. One's for raw input games like The Lost World and others for D input games like Fighting Vipers 2. Open LaunchBox and go to Settings, Tools, Import, 
ROM files. Next, add files. Navigate to your ROMs folder and select all the ROMs and then open. Next, for platform select Sega Model 3. Next, for choose emulator click add. Type Sega Model 3 for the emulator name. Under Emulation Application Path, click Browse and navigate to your first Sega Model 3 folder you created and select Supermodel Execute and then Open. Type the provided line in the default command line parameter. Under Associated Platforms, type Sega Model 3. And then check the box for Default Emulator and then OK. Click Next, use files in their current location, and then select Next, Next, Next. Check the box for Force Using Main Metadata and then click Next, Next. And then Finish. Now we're going to set up the second version of the Sega Model 3 emulator that uses D input settings for games like Fighting Vipers 2. Inside of LaunchBox, click on the settings. Tools, Manage Emulators, click Add. For emulator name, type Supermodel 3. For the application path, browse to the second Sega Model 3 folder you created. Click on the Supermodel Execute and then Open. For associated platforms, type Supermodel 3 and check the box for default emulator and then I'll click OK. Now any games that need the D input you can set as the default emulator. For example, right click on Fighting Vipers 2 and go to Edit. Go to Emulation, click the drop down and select Supermodel 3 and then click OK. Now when you load this game it will open in the second emulator for Sega Model 3 with direct input. When calibrating Lost World, press Alt plus I. This will bring up your crosshairs. If you keep pressing Alt plus I, it will change from one to two crosshairs. Press six to enter the menu. When entering the gun adjustment screen, you will see a screen like this. Just follow the prompts for calibration. You might run into some issues calibrating the guns for Lost World. If you do run into issues, navigate to your games.xml file inside your config folder. Right click and open with notepad. Run a search for Lost WSGA and replace the following lines with the provided. Search again and repeat the process. After changing the games.xml file, the gun adjustment screen will look like this. Just need to center the crosshair in the middle of the screen and pull the trigger. Now we're ready to play Sega Model 3 games on LaunchBox. Setting up the emulator was a pain in the ass. It might take some time to get everything working correctly. If you like this video and want to see more, chomp on the like button, dismember the subscribe button, and straight up disrespect the bell for future notifications. Until next time, buckos, this is the Arcade Pirate, sailing out. Mwah!